Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode on the Packcraft server. So today we're going to be doing something pretty exciting. We're going to be making an Enderman farm. Um, it's going to be based off of Ethos um, Ender Ender 3.0. It's kind of based off of that. Um, basically, an Endermite is going to be the main part of it. It's going to be in a minecart, and the Endermen are going to want to kill it, and they fall into a hole, and uh, it's going to be a huge enderman or ender pearl and uh xp farm it's gonna be amazing so i have most of the materials we have here because this is gonna be a pretty long episode so i kind of got ready ahead of time um to spawn an endermite we need to uh throw ender pearls until it spawns one and uh we don't really have very many so we're probably gonna go to the end to do that um this is gonna be in the end by the way i guess i should probably mention that yeah um so we also got trap doors to um, get them to fall into the hole. Um, this isn't going to be finished all in one part, though. Or it's going to be finished in one episode, but what I'm trying to say is this is going to take a few days to do um, because we're going to need a lot of glass um, and a lot of dye. Anyway, um, so I think before we go to the end, though, just so that we can kind of be more prepared, or um, yeah, so we can be more prepared, we're going to make some ender chests. Which isn't something I've ever actually done, I don't think, in like a survival survival world that I've played. I've never done that. Okay, so I think we need this to make it. Not entirely sure. I've never actually made one in survival before. But I think you just surround this with obsidian and it should work. Um, but yeah. So I'm pretty excited about this. This is, yeah, this is a big project. We're going to get like tons. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be worth it because we're going to get... Tons of XP and tons of ender pearls. Okay, so I'm gonna place this. You can't really break it once you place it. Place it over here. Yeah. And then we're gonna need. Um, I don't know what we're gonna need, but just to just to have it, we'll probably need more stone. I'll grab a bit more stone. Um, to pillar out far away from the end, the main end island, and we will get going. We just gotta find the end portal here really quick. If it would. All right, I see how it is. So it should be directly under the sheep farm over here. Alrighty, we're at the end portal. So let's jump in. What? I hope it's lagging. <laughs> there we go. I was very scared there. I was like, what? Why, why am I in lava? Okay, we're in the end now. And uh, the enderman is not here. There's the uh, thing that to go to the extra, extra end dimension, I guess. Um, so, to start off, I guess we'll place a, uh, ender chest. Um, I don't know if we want to place it- oh, what's killing me? I left an enderman, I guess, apparently. Okay, that's fine, because we do need, uh, some more ender pearls with me to spawn that endermite, because that's going to take a while. I'm, I'm going to collect those just in a second. Um, but I don't know where to put this ender chest, to be honest. I think I'll go put it, like, um, once we get everything set up at the base, or at the ender- spawner because what i'm thinking is we're gonna have um we're gonna have the main spawning area where they get killed and then we punch them to die um they'll be dropped to half a heart and then yeah we'll punch them or we'll hit them with our sword get lots of xp and um ender pearls and in the back behind that we'll have a bunch of chests maybe an enchantment room for all the xp that you'd get and then i think we'll put the ender chest in that little room there um, okay, so to get started, we're gonna, we're gonna need a bunch of ender pearls. So I'll collect those really quick. We'll probably need, just to be safe, probably like three 16 stacks of ender pearls. So that's gonna take a while. So I'll do that really quick here, as quick as that can be, and uh, I'll see you in a second once I get all those ender pearls. Alrighty here. So we got the three stacks and a little bit of ender pearls that we will need. Hopefully, that's enough to spawn the ender mite. Um, if it's not, that would really suck, because that took way too long to collect all those ender pearls. Um, so first thing we're going to need to do here is build a, a thing, a little, a little, a little thing off into the distance. Probably about three, 200 to 300 blocks away, just to make sure, just to be safe, that there's no endermen on this platform. We want to be as far away as possible. Um, maybe, probably doesn't need to be that far. I mean, 100 would probably be fine if you want to do this at home. Um, but just to be safe, we're going to do it extra far. And eventually, um, instead of placing torches on the, the stone here, which is like the most ugliest thing, 
Um, we're hof I'm hopefully on planning getting a three wide um, design made out of glass or like some other block design um, because the Enderman won't spawn on glass so we won't need torches to um, ha instead of having them spawn because we don't want the Enderman to spawn on here and we just only want them to spawn on the platform that we build for them so yeah so this is going to take a while <laughs> um, going to go about to 295 maybe 350 would be good and uh, then we'll get the Endermite, put him in the minecart, and uh, we'll continue from there. All right, I'll see you in a second. All right, so I've built this long, long stretch of pillar, I guess, and uh, made a little platform here. We are at uh, 375 about, and uh, I just built until we couldn't see the island anymore. That's about a safe distance, I'd say. Um, so now we got to get the, uh, got to get the endermite, sorry, into the minecart, which is going to be a bit challenging, um, but um, we just basically want to um, throw ender pearls until it spawns, and this could take a really long time, or it could be really fast. I think there's like a 5 to 10% chance, so we should, oh, here he is. No, please don't go away. Get the card on him. Come here. Come here, little bugger. Get in the cart. Ah! Okay, he's in, he's in, he's in. Oh boy. Okay. That was... Yeah, I got a bunch of leftover now. That's sweet. Okay. So I didn't know you'd start punching me. Um, I actually did a mock-up sort of thing in uh, Creative. Um, on this, just a random world. Okay, so this thing's kind of scary because he punches me. And I didn't know it would do that. I thought it would be friendly. Okay, so once you have this... Um, basically everything is going to be built around this guy. Um, everything won't be stoned, by the way. We're going to pretty it up eventually, but for now, um, it's just going to be stone. Because we don't want to... Can I push the minecart, please? No? Okay. Because um, it's just a super easy building block to get. Um, so you're going to want to... I guess this is kind of a tutorial episode, more or less. Um, so you're going to want to, like try not to get killed by this guy like I just did please no away <laughs> dang it well I'll be back in a second god dang it already here I'm back <laughs> I had to walk all the way back um so I also forgot to mention that you're gonna need a uh name tag uh to name the endermite um before you put him in the minecart I had to spawn a new one in um because if you go out of the dimension out of the dimension like I just did, um, he'll despawn, so you want to give him a name tag so he does not despawn. Alright, so we'll continue here. Um, I think I'm going to make it three a, a three by... or a, The hole will be... Um, if the Endermite's here, the hole will be here. Right? Yeah, so that's where the hole will be. Um, if the Endermite's there, I might want to check that just in case, because I don't want him to get killed. Um, but you're going to want to surround him. Ow, he still punches me. I surround him um, with cobblestone just to be safe. I think I'm going to make the whole... Yeah, you're going to want to give him lots of space, actually. Um, and you're going to want to do this before you build the platform, because Enderman will just come and um, kill him a lot. Um, so you want to do this first. So we're going to build sort of a, a wall behind him, um, just so that he's safe. And I'm going to have to look, but I think we want to place um, these iron trapdoors that I made at um, three blocks high and lowered, like there. So I guess it'll be two block on the third block high. It'll be two blocks high on the third block. Um, so three long and one like one there and one there. And then you're going to want to do one there and there. I think that is right. Just so that um, once, you big, once you make the hole, the Enderman won't be able to get him from all sides um, so that he won't be able to kill him. Um, yeah, so once you have that, um, then we're going to build a hole three wide here, or three by two. And you want to want to place the trap doors like this and fold them up, fold them down. Um, so it's basically tricking the Enderman into thinking that 
uh, these are solid blocks, but they actually aren't. Oh boy. And then, um, I almost died there. And then at this block layer right here with these trap doors, um, let me just actually like open these so I don't fall. Um, you're going to want to break it here. And this is where the platform will start past these um, because you don't want them going onto this platform over here. That's kind of like the, the separate one for him. Um, so yeah, so now we're going to build, actually I think that's right. I don't want to be wrong on this because I will have to pay the consequences. I think that's right. I, mean, I, I hope that's right. Um, so you can break these if you want now too. Um, but so keep the wall behind. And now we're going to want to build a huge platform. Um, it's going to be like a half of a circle um, because if you build it like a square, um, the Enderman won't be able to see it and it just looks nicer. Um, I don't know. And it's more efficient that way, more or less. Um, so I'm going to build this big square out of stone. Probably don't have enough. Um, and eventually we're going to have to build a little base down there so that when they fall down, um, that there's going to be a platform down there which will have the ender chest and the chest for the ender pearls and stuff like that. But for now, I'm just going to build a little platform here and then uh, show you kind of what it's going to um, look like. You're also going to want to take or not put any torches on the platform because um, then they won't spawn. All right, I'll build this platform, hopefully not fall off, and uh, I'll see you in a second. Okay, so we have the uh, startings of a semicircle here. And uh, we're going to destroy the torches and just to show a little demonstration before I make it um, way bigger. Um, just going to take off the torches and then pillar up so then they can the endermen can spawn. And I uh, want to cl close these or open them, I guess depending on what open or close is in your opinion. And uh, take away this torch and we'll pillar up. Hopefully they spawn. Usually they do. And uh, we'll go up all the way over up here, and hopefully it works. I don't see them spawning yet, which is kind of worrying. Oh, there we go. Yeah, so that's basically what happens. They uh, spawn. Oh, they stopped. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it triggers. It kind of is random. Oh, now it stopped working. Hmm. That's kind of weird. Why is it not doing it? Well, you kind of saw at the beginning there, they were running at it. Oh, there we go. It just takes a while. Um, so then they start running at it. Looks like their view is kind of blocked by something, so maybe we'll have to fix that. It's a bit of, it's a little bit of trial and error, um, but this platform will probably be two or three times bigger, um, just as long as their view goes. I'm not sure how long that is. Oh, see, look, like this guy somehow managed to get over there. <laughs> um, like, that's a bad thing. We don't want that to happen um, because he, he might kill the might end up killing the ender the endermite um yeah so i'll continue working on this uh i'll probably start building the lower platform as well this is going to take a while because i'm going to need a lot of sand for the tube for them to fall in so the tube will be a a two by three wide tube oh maybe i looked at him maybe that's the problem yeah i think i looked at him and that's why he's trying to teleport over here yeah i think that's what happened um anyway so yeah so i'll continue building this this will probably take a while um so yeah, see you once I get lots of progress done. Alrighty here, so it has been a few days. Um, it actually only took a few hours to do, but i um, been kind of busy with school and stuff starting up. Um, so it is a working, basically finished product. The only thing I have to do is kind of pretty up the stone and make it something else besides stone so it's not so ugly. Um, but otherwise it's working and it's completely almost done. So here it is. Okay, so as you can see, we got the uh, Endermite here, as same as before. Um, I kind of changed this around. It turned out it stopped working because he actually died um, because I had placed the trap doors wrong. So I put them like this, and it seems to work pretty good. Um, so as you can see, this is like crazy. The Endermen come out like, I think the entity rate is... It can, get, it can hit to about 80, which is like pretty good. Right now it's about 50. It's that E underneath in the top left corner um so yeah it's pretty pretty good it can get a bit leggy <laughs> is the only thing um so yeah so for the i'm also in creative by the way 
just so it's a bit easier to uh, show the place around. So the platform I ended up doing like this, um, I'm not sure how long and big it is, but it's about this big. It's about that big. You can kind of eye it. Basically, it can be as big as you want. I found out like I can actually expand this quite a bit bigger um, because these guys spawn like on the very edge and they can still run at them. So there's room for improvement or room for expansion, but I don't think we really need to expand it anymore. Um, and then I'm saying this is not finished because I definitely want to change this out to something besides stone, like some sort of pixel art or design or something. Um, so yeah, so I also put um, these little, this little um, gap here. I don't know what it's called, but instead of filling it in, I left it open there just because before they would... Let's see if we can demonstrate it. Um, the ones coming on the sides would actually fall down off the side instead of going into the... I don't know. It's, it's not working anymore. There we go. Now they're falling off the side instead of going into the... Um, hole, in, into the tube like they're supposed to. Um, so I just put that on the side. It just gets them to walk around into the tube. Um, up here we have a observation platform. If you'd like to watch it. Um, they actually always don't spawn like this. The um, hole at the bottom is actually not... There is a hole at the bottom, so they just fall down to their death. So they're constantly respawning and dying. Um, but otherwise, it would stop after it hit about, I think, around a certain amount. I'm not sure how much, but after a certain amount. And I put glass here so that you don't accidentally look at them. And uh, just... This is like the super... This is probably the most majestic thing I've ever seen. All these Endermen, like coming at the tube it's just i think i was i the other day i was actually watching it for like five minutes straight and i was like in a trance it was just so magical but yeah um down here um that's where the endermite is and then down here i have uh this is where they fall to half a heart i built this glass tube by hand it took a dang long time because it wasn't even it was like an odd number so it got messed up anyway i fixed it and um i got the the water here so you can fall down instead of going down the ladder um, down the staircase I got this thing I guess we can play the place the platform back now if that's even possible because they fall down so fast oh oh boy oh I got it I got it I got it usually it's way trickier to place the platform um, sometimes they spawn on the sides but it's not really too too bad um, so here we go I got ender chest crafting table so they all fall, fall down the tube into here, and they're at half a heart. You can just punch them, and they die. And then if you use your sword, because of the new, like, I think 1.9 they added the AoE. So you can just hit and kill all of them at once. You get a bunch of XP and ender pearls. Um, I got chests back here for ender pearls. And uh, chests here for lapis. We got enchanting table here um, to use, like, I think if you start at zero and if you hit once, I haven't really tested it, but... I, I, I guess it would probably get to about level 10 with one of these hits, like there. And uh, we also got a lever going around to some pistons, just because I've noticed um, when you stay down here and you're killing them like this, and they're falling down, there's like huge clumps back there, if you can see. So I just press this, and it pushes them forward, and, uh, and then you can kill them. You can keep killing them, and... Basically, if you want to use this, like if you're on the server, if you want to use this, uh, basically you just stay down here, or if you want to build this in your own world, I guess, too. Um, you just stay down here and keep killing them and keep pressing the lever just so they get pushed forward and the items get pushed forward as well. And then you just keep killing them, keep killing them, and uh, they just fall down by themselves. Yeah. So yeah, there we go. This took way too long. <laughs> I, got a I had to collect all this course as well. Um, but yeah, so like just from being here for I don't know like 30 seconds. Let's see how many ender pearls I picked up like four stacks I picked up which is pretty insane. I almost have a row of ender pearls already So that's probably what I'm gonna be using for transport nowadays um, So yeah, so I hope you all enjoyed this episode. This was probably The most time-consuming episode I've or one of the most I, I don't know one of my castle episodes might have took a long time, but this took I think I did in survival. I think it took about estimated like six hours. No, yeah, six hours because I got you had to build this long peninsula out, 
and you got to build a platform that took like two or three hours and the uh, quartz took about two or three hours the crafting or the bookshelves alone took like half an hour because <laughs> i couldn't find any sugar cane um so yeah anyway so i hope you enjoyed make sure to like if you would like some more pack craft and comment if you have any ideas what i should do um this was kind of a big thing that i've been wanting to do for a long time um i think in the future we can definitely pretty this stone up pretty the pillar up like make this all nice and i think i'm gonna make this out of glass uh, i think i said earlier this episode um so yeah so hope you all enjoyed and i will see you in the next one